I'm just giving you another update on the uh, the seeds. So on the seventh day, I pulled a couple out and I showed you. And the following morning, on the eighth day, I pulled the rest of these guys out except for five of the uh, pots. And so far, I'm not a hundred percent happy with uh, the results with the uh, high temperatures. So I'm playing around with an idea. Here's the last five that are in here. So what I'm thinking of doing is sprinkling some more uh, of the uh, sand on the top. And I think that might just give the extra moisture to the seeds to, uh, to get more to sprout. So I think uh, that's what I'm going to do right now. And uh, I'll try, I was going to actually try it on all new uh, pots. But uh, I thought I'll, I'll take a chance on these guys. I have a feeling it'll probably work. But uh, we'll take a peek tomorrow and uh, see what happens. Well, I just did the one pot, and I thought I'll, I'll do another one and show you guys what exactly how I meant. I'm just uh, taking a pinch full in my hand and just lightly putting it on the top. And I think that should be enough. The light can still go through because these seeds do need uh, light to sprout. But I think the extra, the extra little sand on the top should help uh, with the moisture they need. Because there should have been a lot more sprouted in these pots than uh, what there is right now. If it does work, then I'm going to do it to the other ones that I already pulled out just to get the rest of the seeds to uh, to get going. But I've seen it done. Other people usually do this right off the bat, but I was having really good success the other way. But uh, I have a feeling this will work. And I think I'm just gonna, I'll do the other three pots and then I'm gonna mist them down and we'll check back tomorrow. Just to give you an idea of what's there right now. Alright, let's see in 24. Well, I've gone through, I picked uh, five species that were uh, similar to the, uh, the ones that are left that I'm trying to sprout. Uh, different subspecies but still same idea and I'm going I uh, gonna plant them and I'm gonna sprinkle uh, some sand on the top and see uh, if it makes a big difference I have a feeling it's going to I've done this before and I didn't like re the results so I stopped doing it but I was using a quarter inch stone instead of putting sand on the top so it was too thick so I'm just going to put a thin layer, enough that uh, hopefully the light can still go through. So I'll finish uh, doing it to these guys, and I'll do it just like I showed you I did on the, uh, the previous seeds that were already uh, planted. And uh, we'll take it from there. So I decided to go through and uh, sprinkle some sand on the ones that were already potted. I used the... Uh, agricultural sand and then I planted uh, five new pots on the right hand side uh, two of them I decided to use the uh, agricultural sand too which has some larger stones in it and uh, I wasn't happy with that because more than likely it definitely buried uh, some seeds so I went and had some play sand on hand so I decided uh, the other three I used play sand to see what would happen. So I'm guessing uh, I should have more luck with the uh, play sand on the top. So we'll see what happens. Well, it's been about 24 hours since I uh, put the sand on top. I pulled the rest of the uh, the pots out now, and. Uh, there's a big difference. A lot of them started sprouting up through the sand. That's what I was kind of expecting. And I'll take it from uh, the other pots that I just planted and we'll uh, see what happens with them. But I expect them to uh, 
a lot of them to sprout a lot quicker than what was going on here. But I'll take a closer look for you guys just so you can get an idea. And uh, I'll take uh, another video and we'll follow uh, the seeds I just planted with the sand on top and see if there's a difference between the two, which I'm assuming there's going to be a big difference. But we'll take a closer look and uh, I'll show you. Well, here's a closer look at Betty's barrel. And as you can see, there's uh, a lot more coming up right through the sand. That's what I was kind of expecting. Some just coming up through. So it definitely helped. And here's another one I just pulled out. One of the late ones that wasn't uh, starting to sprout. I can see them coming up. Now this is soaking wet because I just literally uh, sprayed down all the pots. But the last last few, they're all coming up now. So I'm pretty sure uh, the next set that I got going should only take uh, a couple days before I can pull them right out. Which is what you want. The quicker you can get them out the better. And here's that uh, pot of terry color. Tons in here. Alright, so I'll keep you guys up to date and uh, we'll follow uh, the next set I got sprouting. So right now it's been 24 hours. I don't see any signs of uh, anything, but it's all underneath the sand. So I expect by tomorrow morning that uh, there should be some already coming up through, hopefully.